Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have a literal swarm of drones. Uh, I mean, news about the confirmation that in more than a few instances, those pesky flying devices, paparazzis, and other privacy violating specimens were called in, summoned, gathered by none other than the Duchess of Sausages herself. And it's fascinating that these confirmations are popping up virtually at the same time that Tyler Perry, long friend and advocate of the sausages and godfather to Lily, has apparently scored a major business move buying not one but two broadcasting companies. There are still no official confirmations about this, but you know that where there's smoke, there's fire. And speaking of smoke... These are the facts that are surfacing since the time when they went full Mexit and landed happy and finally free in their friend Tyler's mansion. Raider, what Meghan and Harry don't want you to know. Secret Los Angeles Police Department files reveal they planted stories in media in bid to slam Queen Elizabeth. And, well, this is how the story goes. Radar Online has exclusively obtained a Freedom of Information request filed with the Los Angeles Police Department, in which a reporter proved that the sausages were actively manipulating the public opinion in their favor. Tom Sykes from the Daily Beast sought information in 2020 from the LAPD about an incident where drones have flown as low as 20 feet above their property to snatch photographs of the couple and their young son Archie at Tyler Perry's house. But then it has been confirmed that it was the couple's team who provided Sykes with the address of Perry's property on the top of a hill in a gated community. Meanwhile, they were attacking Buckingham Palace, accusing staffers of leaking stories to the media and even claiming that intimate senior members of the royal family could have been the puppet masters behind such leaks. But now we know the truth. And it's disturbing, but we have these kind of flashbacks thanks to all the lies too. Neve Spencer, a broadcaster and Kiss FM DJ from London, attended a royal event for Heads Together, the charity Kate, William and Harry established at St. James Palace one month before the engagement in a near-identical outfit. She believes that Prince Harry was so impressed with her style that he recommended the look to his fiancé. Uh, speaking about her first thoughts when she saw the snaps of Meghan, Neve said, I thought, OMG, that's me. I couldn't believe the striking resemblance. I am faltered, surprised, shocked, and humbled that I might have influenced the engagement look. I mean, we have seen Megan as the copycat perhaps a thousand times, but few times it has been as blatant as this. It's virtually the same coat, the same shoes, and the same hairstyle. Now, I don't think that it was uh, Harry recommending this style to Megan. That would be a bit uncomfortable, right? And since when do men talk about women's fashion? I'm telling you, I don't know how so many disturbing details like this resurface seemingly out of nowhere. But the opposite of surfacing is this. U.S. officials block release of Prince Harry's U.S. visa files. Now, some were already expecting this to happen, that it was not going to be that easy after all. But I think the Heritage Foundation, the ones applying pressure on this, already knew this was going to be the outcome. So, why did they do it anyway? Well, it was a good move in the sense that it will tarnish Harry's image and reputation by instilling doubts. Doubts about the legitimacy of his current status in the United States. And yes, no matter if you think this is a win for Harry, it is a win only in paper because the doubt about his status still remains. It has just been delayed, so one more reason for Harry to be stressed and concerned. Maybe he would need to retire a few days to his private hotel room. It's like the words from the Caribbean prince. Before Meghan Markle went public with her relationship with Prince Harry in Vanity Fair, most of the cast of Suits didn't really get on with her. I wonder who will be the first to talk. For your information, Meghan got her lawyers to silence uh, most of them when Tom Bauer was researching revenge. And I found these words really interesting. 
This was Vanessa Grigoriadis when she went on Andrew Gold's podcast. Let's take a look at her words because they are a great blueprint to how narcissistic minds work. A large number of the people in suits sort of didn't jive with Megan, and somebody said she's not someone you can be friends with. You can go on a hike with her through the Hollywood Hills, and she'll ask you about your family, she'll be very nice, but you never actually get to know this person. Like, you can't touch her, you can't get through the glass. And the other thing that somebody said to me about that scene of people up in Toronto, Soho House, which of course is where Suits was filmed in Toronto, and hanging out with all these Brits up there, that stuck in my mind is, these women have everything and they want everything. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why Lady C says that Meghan is not going to divorce Harry simply because she still needs that platform and hasn't been able to take off on her own. Now, someone who is doing instead of talking is the Princess of Wales who commissioned 50,000 pounds for an NHS study to check babies' happiness. And I think this is a great initiative, despite all the criticism that this has spawned on social media. Uh, well, you might already know how things work in social media. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, the bigger your platform, the more viciously you will be criticized. Even if you are doing amazing things, it doesn't matter. But, well, this initiative will evaluate a special tool used by health visitors at the regular six to eight week check to identify babies at risk, as well as showing parents how to communicate with their babies. And yes, I say it time and time again, babies need their moms. Those first four years of life are critical in terms of emotional development and how an infant begins to refine the neural pathways that will model how he or she reacts to the challenges of the environment. She has warned that not enough is being done to nurture Britain's youngest children and vowed last year to use her platform to do everything she can to shine a light on the crucial early years in order to improve outcomes for the next generation. And yes, this is a complex issue in many levels because there are socioeconomic factors because in many households, both mom and dad work just to live paycheck to paycheck. So in these conditions, said process of nurturing at the most important phase of a kid's life becomes, becomes a real challenge. But let's do things step by step. And you might remember that back in May, there was announced an open position at Buckingham Palace for digital content producer. Not gonna lie, the moment I saw this, I instantly said, wow, that would be awesome. But that feeling lasted only nine seconds until I found out what to pay. Well, let's say it will be a bit difficult to live in London with that salary. In fact, I will try to say this in good faith. Since we are talking about video production, any amateur with barely weeks of experience can make twice that amount working for himself. And I know what many of you were thinking, that this is not for the pay itself, but for the prestige that would come with working for the firm. But the thing is that in video production, what matters is your hardcore skills and the end product. Okay, you work for the royal family, amazing, but show me your portfolio. And you want your portfolio to be as creative and as diverse as possible. Working for many clients on your own gives you access to different challenges that boost your experience quicker and make you more money. So if there's any intern from Buckingham Palace that is watching my videos, tell your bosses that, well, this is going to be a position hard to fill. My royal rogues, I hope I made you smile or even laugh today. That makes me really happy. And if you want to show some love, all you need to do is hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's completely free and the best way to support my daily royal news and memes. The two most important words, much love and bliss.